Hello and welcome to Blessed Energy. How is everyone doing today? Today is Friday. Mm -hmm. Today is Friday, September 25th, I believe. Don't quote me on that because I've been getting my dates wrong all this week. But I do know today is Friday and we're going to ask the car, what is the message? What is the message for today? Okay. These cars in order. So how's everyone doing? What you guys got planned for this weekend? Me personally, I don't have nothing planned. But I will say this. I'm taking a major trip. Okay? So if you don't see my reads coming on on Monday, um, it will. I'm going to try to get some reads in during the week. All right, but I'm taking a trip. I'm just letting you guys know ahead of time, okay? So let's focus. What is the message for today? What is the message you have for us today? Yeah, I said it comes through clear and accurate. Okay. So yes. Oh wow. They got a message for us already. One flew out. Okay. What is the message for today? Okay. Another one? Alright. They're trying to come out today, guys. Alright. Let's cut. They trying to fly out. Okay. <laughs> Let's cut this deck. First card that flew out, the page of Ariel. Okay, an excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarship or the pursuit of an education. Time to get to work. So yes, we know some of you guys are on, on the right page here. The read all this week benefit on the right page. <laughs> page of Ariel. Okay, so this, this means that Opportunity is going to be sent it to you. Prosperity is coming to you. Okay? Time to do some studying. Time to do some work. Okay? Second one that fell out. Nine of Gabrielle. And it's coming in fast. This is the night card. Time to take action. Great passion for a cause. Instantly knowing just what to do. Okay? So this excellent opportunity that's coming in. It's coming in fast. Alright? So be ready. Be ready for this opportunity that's coming in towards you. Let's go. Nana Gabrielle, yes. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Environmental activism. So stay determined. Why is this why is this new opportunity is coming in? Cause it's gonna come in fast, but you gotta stay determined and keep it moving. Alright? Keep it moving. Keep it in a positive light. Okay? Let's go. Two of Raphael's here. Two heart dedicating to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits. Don't give up for those you love. So the two of, two of Raphael's here. Okay. King of spirits coming in. Someone to help. Someone to help with this fast energy that's coming in. Okay, let's go to two of Raphael. Yes, two of Raphael. Let's go to two of Raphael. Two hearts can create something wonderful. A friendship can grow deeper or romance can flourish and bloom. Regardless of the nature of the relationship, time deepens the bond and a long-term connection based on respect and understanding develops. This is the card of kindred spirit. Forgiveness heals wounds feelings. Relationship can be re re um, reconciled. Now is, time to, now is not the time to give up on those you love. Okay, disagreements between people or groups will come to possible resolution. Addition meaning to this card, flirting, making commitment, mutual interest, and magnet connection. Okay, so this is a kindred spirit that's coming in with this, with this, with this opportunity. All right. Yes. This is a. This is this is this is like the. Uh, duality card balance so all this energy is coming in 
this is balancing it out, okay? Someone to keep you grounded, focused, okay? Two spirits that are alike, okay? Let's keep going. Ten of Michaels here. Time to take a bow because you've done the work. You've done the work. A situation has ended. You are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you, okay? And it fell right underneath the pay every um area, which is saying an exit opportunity will be offered to you. Okay? So yes, take a bow. The work is done. The hard work is done. Okay? Now it's to get focused and get get things rolling. Let's go. Let's see what's rolling. Yes, perspective. That's what I'm talking about. There's there's a better way. Pursue the for pursue pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. Okay. Perspectives here. We're gonna read from perspective right now. Number twelve. Okay. <clears throat> There's a better way. You'll probably notice that your past approach is no longer working for you. Our angel Shumel asks you to pause what you're doing and look at things from a different perspective. While this time of reflection is temporary, it is also extremely important to your spiritual evolution and growth. This card can also indicate that your heart may be leading you to perform selfless acts of kindness for someone else. This form of compassion is always rewarded and your angels will be standing by your side. Remember that you give the world your greatest gift by being true, unique, electric self. Additional meaning to this card, a pause for reflection, time moving slowly, a change is priority, unconventional ideas, daring to be different. Okay? A situation has ended. Okay? And perspective came right behind it. Let me know. Take a pause. Reflect. Do some insight. So you can get things rolling, going. New ideas coming in. Because, baby, they're coming in up here. Okay? Let's go. Yes. Balance it out again. Two of Ariel. Okay? It is important to have balance. Working multiple jobs and projects at once, making work fun. Balance. Balance the workout. Let's go. Okay. Two of Gabrielle is also here. We have two, four, three twos on the table. Okay. Meaning balance. Meaning help. Make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationship with people who share vision. Okay, and that fell right underneath the tour of Raphael. Just want to show you. The lover's card. Okay, and here we are. This one says, two hearts dedicates to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits make bold and ambitious choices. Great process is, is possible. Important relationship with people who share your vision. Okay, they coming. This person is here. So this this is like the second or third time that the two of Raphael showed up this week. Okay? Let's get some more clarification on this. Okay? Can we get some more clarification on the two of Raphael and the two of Gabrielle? Do you have a message for us? Okay. Message for us on the two of Gabrielle or the two of Raphael. And this kindred spirit. Okay. No message coming out. Okay. Try one more time. And we're just going to leave it there. There's no message coming out. All right. So there's no message. I believe someone is coming in. Someone is coming in to help. Yes. important relationship with people who shares your vision which is very important when you when you're starting something new okay have some balance know that it's coming in fast and it's coming in with abundance okay it's coming in abundance i'm going to read from the moon allergy card this is jupiter is going direct today so let's go let's let's give it a shuffle first yeah. Give it a good tail. Alright. Ask that we get an accurate read from this. 
deck here. Okay. What is the message you have for us today? Okay, let's cut. Don't want to spend too much time doing that. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What is the message for today? Communication is the key. New moon in Gemini. Again, two kindred spirits. Okay? Again. Two of Raphael, the lover's card. Okay? Two of Gabrielle. Again. Here we are. Okay? Communication is the key. The new moon in Gemini. All right, so let's go to the book. New moon in Gemini. Okay, let's go to the new moon. New moon in Gemini. Communication is the key. A successful relationship usually comes down to one thing, communication. And the new moon in Gemini card is all about the start of a new cycle for communicating with the person at the center of your question. Taking things through, talking things through is the answer to whatever it is you're asking about. If you're, if you can't talk to that person, you can journal about it to yourself. Emails, text messages, and all other forms of communication will also help you now. If the issue you're asking about concerns a sibling or a neighbor, there's a new start coming, a time to wipe the slate clean and start over. This card could also suggest you've been too furious, furtish lately and need to get grounded again. Be more importantly, okay, this card could also suggest that you've been too um, furtish lately and need to get grounded again. But most importantly, drawing this card emphasize the need to communicate. Attune to the moon. Write a list of all the people you love most and see if you're prioritizing them. Additional meaning to this card, time to tell someone how you feel. Don't be all in your head, not in your heart. Someone is flirting with you. Read more books. The teaching of this card. The Gemini is the sign of communication and socializing of ideas and travel. And the energy around it and around this card, no matter when you pull it, is speedy, gospelly, and, and flirtatious. The new moon in Gemini is a wonderful time to get out and socialize. Gemini loves a chat. One thing to be aware of is that this card can also indicate being mentally scattered. Daily meditation will help to unscramble cross wires in your brain. Okay? So communication is the key right about now. Having communication with oneself. Okay? Communication is the key. Ha! Huh. Okay, one more card for my favorite deck here. Let's see if they give us a read, a message, excuse me. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Do you have any additional message for us? Okay, do you have any additional message for us? The deck just came flying out. Anything else? <laughs> as soon as I said it was my favorite deck, it just said, okay, I got something for you. All right. That's it, because nothing else is flying out. All right, let's see what those cards are. It looks like two cards is on the table. Let's see. First one I see is, wait. Wait, your time is coming. Wait. And the next one says, choose a new direction. However that resonates within you guys, choose a new direction. Okay? Because the excellent opportunity is coming your way. And I'm going to leave it there. Oh, wait. Today is Venus Day. Let's pull up Universal Love Card. Because we, we honor our mother, our goddess Venus. That today is her day. <laughs> right? So let's pull from Venus. Let's pull a card of love today. Since we have the lovers lovers here, we have <laughs> communication is the key. This is something new coming in for people, okay? So let's pull from this deck 
and we're gonna see what the message is from here. Okay. Oh, they trying to pop out. No. Okay. You do have a message for us. Okay. Let me just give you a shuffle first. Give you a nice shuffle. And cut the deck. Oh, I guess we don't have to cut the deck because there's the message. <laughs> okay. Let's take the book out. All right. Where we at here? Emerges. Okay. Let's read. Let's go to the book. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, it should be here. It's in alphabetic order, guys. It may feel like forces beyond your control trushes you into unfamiliar territory. Is it true? We cannot control all forces or situations. Wherever chaos reigns in your world, you can control your re reaction, your perspectives, your focus. Life persists constant opportunities to learn, involve, and step into who you long to be. The challenge will come. Is it up to you to work through them to draw all the wisdom you can from them? It is through the events currently unfolding that your true, your true nature will emerge. What do you want to be? A victor? A role model, a sage, align yourself, current self with your greatest self and tap into the tap into the reverse of power, confidence and insight. Every challenge is daunting at the start. With time and perspective all forced into place, the result is a stronger, more confident and more grateful you. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. That was a nice message. That was different. <laughs> We're going to leave it there. Happy Friday. And I will be, y'all going to see a lot of me on YouTube. I'm not sure if it's going to be a lot of reads. I'm going to do my best to push out some readings. You know, what's the message um, videos. And I'm also going to be doing blogging my vacation. Okay. Blogging where I'm at. Blogging the things that I'm doing. So you guys can get an insight of what's going on. Okay. So look out for those videos as well. Until then, everyone enjoy the weekend. Enjoy today. And remember, communication is the key. Take care.